it is so important in James 4, 7 to resist the devil and he will flee from you. The need for Christians is to understand how to resist resistance. God says he resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. But as we discover the truth about resisting the resistance, as I go down into my exercise room and begin to do three miles a day and do upper body exercises, 12 miles this week already, and as I do three miles a day or better, I have to resist the resistance. As I put these arms up for 30 minutes, I'm resisting the resistance. As you run, you're resisting the resistance. As you walk, you're resisting the resistance of walking. When a little baby crawls, they're resisting the resistance against them. When they take their first two or three steps and fall down, they're trying to overcome the resistance of gravitation. When an airplane goes into the air and overcomes the law of gravity with its law of aerodynamics, it is resisting the resistance. It's a strange thing today. You go to a doctor and they'll say, well, you should lose weight, which is good, and you should exercise, yes, but you should do everything possible to get rid of your stress. I know there's a time for that and I understand it, but stress is good for us. Tension is good. The tension on the mind is what makes the mind strong. Stress on the emotions when they resist the resistance make the emotions strong. In the trials that you've had, in the trials that I've had, Time and time again, mentally, emotionally, I've, I've stood in the Lord and you've stood with me and we've resisted the resistance and out of it came our strength and out of it came divine resources and out of it came God's loving help. And what a thrill it was that when several battles were over and God gave us victory, we looked back and said, we resisted the resistance and it made us so strong. 